What's up guys, it's 2020 and we need to be collecting rent electronically rather than in person or a cash in the mail. Especially with the pandemic going on, we need to be limiting face-to-face -face contact as much as possible. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you exactly what you can use for collecting rent electronically and for free. Let's jump into it. If you're a new real estate investor or a seasoned real estate investor, collecting rent from tenants is its a headache. Especially if you are investing out of state, I know the pain. I, honestly, I bought my very first property without even seeing it like in person. I know, I know. Don't roast me in the comments or do whatever. Now here's my number one website for collecting rent electronically or online. And that is cozy.co. Here's a few reasons why this website is extremely powerful. One obvious reason is you can collect rent online for free. What? For free? Yes, for free. Unless you're wanting to go with their paid service, which is $2.99, literally $2.99 a month. And I'll get into why that is. Their $2.99 a month service is for their expedited service, meaning typically after a tenant pays through Cozy, it takes five business days. This is what their free version. It takes five business days to hit your checking account from the time the tenant pays cozy now with their expedited service it's going to bump that down to three business days so it can be free if you want it to be or you can skip your starbucks cup of coffee tomorrow and experience cozy's expedited service hey if you're already getting value out of this video hit that like button turn it blue so the youtube gods know that this video has value in it and it's a little off topic but cozy.co also runs background checks and credit checks meaning whenever a tenant is done on an application you typically want to run a credit check and a background check now you can use cozy and it does it all for you meaning a tenant is going to fill out an application online with cozy and they have to pay the application fees so again it's free to to you for landlords and you can easily see someone's background check or credit check now here's a quick tip for this and i know this uh, from personal experience is if the background check is coming back longer than a week typically that means that there is going to be some form of credit uh criminal history on their record and why do i say if it takes longer than a week because if someone has a criminal record or criminal history cozy is going to take longer to pull their background because they have criminal records so it's taking them longer to get everything together now for my first property i had a potential tenant wanting to rent out my property now i was using cozy.co that's why i'm recommending it because i love their service now they filled out the application everything it took about two weeks for the application to get back to me now being a new real estate investor after about a week i was starting to get anxious you know i was like uh, do i really want them to uh to rent out my property without a background check because you know all the videos that i've heard like this one you need to wait for these background checks i was like well i really want the money i really don't want to lose out any money and keep in mind i haven't even bought this property yet because i market this property while i'm under contract with them and i get explicit um, consent from the homeowner anyways I was like well these people sound like good people they're really nice to me so I'm just gonna rent it out to him basically the next day after I I said that to myself the background check came back and they had about two years worth of criminal history on their record now a criminal history doesn't necessarily mean they're bad people right but a criminal history is what they did in the past and being a new real estate investor i didn't want to take that risk and i'm so glad that i waited i didn't really wait for the background check to come back but this could have been one of my bigger mistakes in real estate and i'm so glad that it happened to me because i learned from it and i learned that i need to take my time whenever i'm uh vetting tenants and that story is super embarrassing for me to admit admit because obviously we don't want to admit to our mistakes so if you got value out of that consider subscribing to this youtube channel and turn on bell notifications so you get notified every single time i upload a new video that's bringing you value just like this one another reason cozy is so powerful is the tenants can pay with credit cards yes they can pay with credit cards now i don't suggest anyone getting into a credit card debt and especially paying uh your rent off on a credit card but if they have to they can this is just another way of you collecting rent electronically and the more options you have the less likely people are going to default on their more other uh, rent one key thing to know is whenever you're collecting rent electronically is you need to be aware of the dates that you're collecting rent and whenever you're using cozy.co is like we said earlier if you're using the the free service it's five business days so it's basically an entire week or three business days if you're using the expedited service why is this a key piece of information because think about it if your mortgage is due on the first and you tell the tenant hey you can pay on the first but don't be late on the third right so if your mortgage is due on the first and after three days of 
not paying your mortgage is going to be a late payment. It might take, you know, if they pay on the, if the tenant pays on the third, it's going to take another five business days for you to get your, your money so you can pay your mortgage. Now, this might occur some bad situations because you're going to have some late fees on your mortgage. Now, typically banks will allow up, up until the 15th of every month for you to pay your mortgage without having to pay a late payment or it affecting your credit. Now, don't be suing me saying, well, James, James Holloway told me I can pay on the 15th and it not affect my credit or whatever. You need to look into your your specific bank and see what their rules are because every bank is different and I don't want you to get in a situation where if you pay after the fifth of the month then it's a late payment and it's gonna hit your credit and if you're allowing your tenant to pay until the fifth of the month they're going most likely they're gonna be paying on the fifth of the month they're gonna be paying the last day so you're gonna be occurring late payments and it's gonna affect your credit so that's why I say be wary of this. And honestly, it's just good practice to do all this stuff. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and turn on bell notifications to be a part of the family. Now here is going to be a video that I think that you're going to like. But until the next video, guys, I'm out. See ya.